Good morning. It's about 8.30 in the morning here. I'm down here in the Olive Grove to tell you some shocking news. You know, for the last three years, I've been working on a science fiction thriller, and I've been working with the title The Last Beekeeper. This week, I found out that HarperCollins plans a major global launch of a literary fiction novel the same week that I'm releasing my book, and it's also called The Last Beekeeper. No! Yes. So I just wanted to give you an update as to um, what I'm doing in response to that. My first thought was I should change my title, right? I didn't want any confusion in the marketplace. I don't want people to accidentally buy my book when they mean to buy the other book. And I've done a lot of hand wringing and consultation with people in the publishing industry. And I have decided to not change my title. I'm keeping my title and I, have, I am doing some changes. And I want to let you know the seven reasons why I'm not changing my title. Number one, they're totally different genres. My book is a science fiction thriller set in the near future. It's along the lines of Stephen King or Dean Kuntz. And the other book by a woman named Sia Turabi, who was born in Karachi and has uh, grown up in, in the UK. Uh, she, her book is being compared to um, Khalid Husseini, uh, The Kite Runner. And it's more of a kind of global a literary fiction. One description I, I read of it described it as women's fiction. I don't know if that's fair, but certainly a literary uh, fiction novel. So they're very, very different genres. And uh, that makes me feel a little bit better. Number two, the covers are very, very different. And mine is clearly a thriller cover with elements of something dangerous. And uh, the other Last Beekeeper is clearly uh, a literary fiction cover with some kind of uh, magical elements to it almost. Uh, so very different covers. Number three. Three is the number of years I've been working on this book under this title. And the title is integral to the storyline. It takes place in a near future during a global bee crisis. The main character is the last beekeeper. He is somebody who uh, does traditional beekeeping practices. He doesn't like the fact that uh, in this future world, pollination is controlled by giant mega corporations called bee lords. And uh, he just has some small hives on a small island. He's a very small operation. And uh, it's all about being the last beekeeper. It is all about being the last beekeeper. So I'm not changing the title. Number four, The Last Beekeeper is a darn good title for a near future science fiction thriller. Number five, my full title is actually The Last Beekeeper, Vespling Book One. It's part of the Vespling series. It's a, it's a new series starter. So uh, it's differentiated by the fact that it's part of a series. Number six, there are actually a lot of books with the same title, more than many people realize. There's a book called Life After Life, which, uh, well, two books called Life After Life. There's Joyland. One of those was written by Stephen King. There's uh, sometimes in the same genre, there's a book called I See You, uh, two different thrillers, both called I See You. There's also two versions of Twilight. Did you know that? Uh, one of the authors of Twilight won the Nobel Peace Prize. And hint, it's not the one who wrote about vampires. And also the classic book From Here to Eternity. Also, there are two books with that title. One published more recently than the other, certainly. Uh, that, of course, uh, the original one was the book that uh, the movie was made out of. So this happens more than you realize, and more than I actually realized, to be honest. Number seven. My book is already on pre-order on Amazon, and once a book is on pre-order, there's quite a few limitations about what I can do as an independent author. Otherwise, I get penalized from Amazon because, of course, uh, they want to make sure that customers have a good experience. So I can't delay the, the release. I can't. Uh, there, there's, there's quite a few limits around what I can do. So uh, it's already on, on pre-order. And in fact, people have already been buying my book under the title The Last Beekeeper. So it would be incredibly confusing to change the title for those people who have already bought it. 
However, I am making two changes. I'm going to first, I'm going to actually change the cover to add the subtitle to my cover. Uh, currently it says uh, he thought it was safe here as a kind of tagline. I'm changing that to Vespling Book One so that it becomes clear it's part of a series. So that will further differentiate the two books. The other thing I'm doing is because the other book and my book are actually right now scheduled to come out the same week, uh, I'm changing the release date of my book. I can't move it back because uh, Amazon's rules around pre-order, I start to get penalized, um, but I can bring it forward. So I'm planning to bring it forward. I was originally planning to pub publish it at the end of August. Now I'm hoping to do it in the middle of July. Uh, there's quite a few changes I need to make around my proofreading and beta readers and also my launch team, which is coming up. Um, so uh, I have to do quite a few changes around that, but. That way, it will not be released the same week because I think that would be incredibly confusing for people. So there it is, the seven reasons why I'm not changing the title of my book. It's called The Last Beekeeper. It's a science fiction thriller. It's not The Other Last Beekeeper. Uh, somebody joked that I should change the title of my book to The Very Last Beekeeper Ever So There, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, it's coming out mid-July. It's already available on Amazon for pre-order. Check it out. Uh, if you're interested in these updates, hit subscribe and the little bell icon and you'll be updated when I release more information about the book. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.